Lovely to meet you. I'm Dr. Sean and I'll be doing your cranial nerve exam today. How are you feeling? Okay, you a bit nervous maybe? That's fine, yeah, no, that's perfectly fine. We do get uh, nervous from time to time, especially when it comes to hospital stuff. Yeah, it can be a little bit daunting. But um, you're going to be absolutely fine, okay, I promise you that. Alright, this exam will take somewhere between 25 to 40 minutes, all depending on how we go, okay? It's going to be a range of different tests, okay, ranging from very simple tests uh, to more sort of intricate ones, but even the intricate ones are very uh, simplistic, okay? So there's nothing I'm going to be asking you that you're going to find challenging, I'm sure, alright? And obviously there'll be no pain either, okay? On the off chance that you do experience any pain whatsoever, do let me know, okay? All right, you should relax more as we get into it, okay? So we're gonna kick off nice and gently and then we can ease into it as we go. How's that sound? That sound okay? Okay, wonderful. All right, so let me just get my pencil that I've misplaced, just one second. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to be asking you a question just to begin the cranial nerve exam, okay? So that question is, have you experienced any changes in your sense of smell recently? Okay, so that was the olfactory uh, nerve or cranial nerve number one. Now we're going to be uh, concentrating on cranial nerve number two, okay? Now, is it okay, that is, do I have your permission to touch around your eye area? Okay, be nice and gentle. Uh, if you do experience any pain, again, do let me know, okay? I don't expect you to be in any pain whatsoever, but just on the off chance, please let me know, okay? All right, first of all, I'm just gonna be checking out the eyes, making sure uh, they are aligned correctly and just looking at the pupil sizes as well, okay? So just looking wherever you want is absolutely fine. Yep, that's absolutely fine. Just stay nice and relaxed, okay? Okay, um, do you normally wear glasses or contact lenses? Okay, it's fine. Just gonna keep looking, just uh, look forward for me just for a moment. Okay, that's wonderful. Keep looking forward for me, please. Okay, doing really well, all right. I know you're a little bit nervous, but that's perfectly fine. All right, we're gonna relax you more and more as we get into it, I'm sure, okay? Okay, so I'm just gonna touch around the eyes, okay? Just let me know if there's any pain, but I don't expect you to be in any, okay? Okay, that feels okay. Okay, you're doing really well, all right. So let's just keep being brilliant, okay. And uh, hopefully you'll be finding this relaxing and will calm you down, all right. It's nothing to worry about, everything's good. And I don't expect to find anything wrong with you at all, okay. So you're doing really well. Okay, if you just look at my nose for a moment. Okay, that's wonderful, and relax, okay? You're doing really well, okay? I promise you that you're doing really well. So we are uh, two stages down, okay? So we've got lots to go, but um, hopefully you'll find it relaxing as we go on. And uh, a lot of my patients actually enjoy the process, believe it or not. All right. So I'm going to move on to visual acuity check. Okay, so we want to check um, each eye individually, for obvious reasons. We want to test uh, both your left and right eye just to make sure that they're performing, um, you know, on par with your previous uh, assessment. Okay, so we're going to be using the Snellen chart here. Okay, so this eye chart you've probably seen many, many times before. Okay, before we start uh, reading off the letters, if you could just tell what colour you see here, please, this line here. 
Okay, and what colour do you see here? Okay, and which of the two, if any, appear brighter or easier for you to see? Okay, that's wonderful. What we do then is, uh, I think we'll start with the bigger letters first. Um, I have checked uh, your previous history with your eyesight, okay? So, um, I don't expect you to struggle with the first part at least. The second part may be a little bit more taxing for you, but we'll just see as we get to that, all right? What I'm going to be doing now is we'll take a walk back here, as far as I can go. And don't forget, we're going to be doing smaller letters, okay? We're going to be starting and ending <laughs> on the uh, bigger letters from this distance, okay? So the first uh, row here and the second row are what we're going to be concentrating on from here, okay? All right, so could you close over your left eye for me, either placing your hand over your left eye or winking, if you're any good at that. I know it's a struggle for a lot of people to wink, myself included. Okay, are you ready? All right, so with your left eye closed, if you can read off the letters that I point to. If you're not quite sure, just guess, all right? All right, here we go. Okay, did really well, really well, yeah. Now I want to close over your right eye and we'll do exactly the same again. I'm going to mix up the order of letters, okay? Don't be cheating after all. Alright, so with the right eye closed this time, you can read off the letters I point to once again. Here we go. Really well done. Yeah, that's good. So it doesn't seem to be any obvious uh, changes from one eye to the other. They both eyes seem about the same in terms of the visual acuity. Yep, that's a good sign, okay? So, it's unlikely we'll be changing prescriptions or anything anytime soon, put it that way. Now, now I'm closer to you, about arm length apart or so. We're going to be concentrating now on the letters in the middle section here, okay? So these are the medium sized letters. And uh, again, if you're not sure what they are, please do give us your best. Yes, okay. How are you feeling? Slowly relax into it. A little bit better. Yeah, you feeling a little bit better. Okay, that's lovely to hear. We'll get you nice and relaxed, okay? I promise you that. So, with your left eye closed once more for me, please. Okay, thank you very much. I'm going to be pointing to a range of letters. I want you to tell me what that letter is, okay? Here we go, left eye closed. Okay, very, very well done. All right, done really well there. We're going to repeat the same again, and as you guessed it, yeah, we're going to be uh, the right eye closed this time, okay? So with the right eye closed, we'll do exactly the same again. Tell me what the letter is. With the right eye closed, here we go. Good. Okay, yeah, that was a C at the end there. Well done, okay? So really well done. We'll pop this back. Okay, make a few notes here just to um, just to say how well you've performed there. Okay, so everything is good. That's fantastic. Okay, so the left eye and the right um, seem to be uh, on par with each other, which is great. Right, I'm going to check the pupillary reflexes now. Okay, so we're going to check um, the what we call the consensual spots. Okay, we're going to just be dimming the lights first of all, okay? So give me just a second, all right? I'll be right back. Okay, is it okay if I place my hand on your nose? Yeah. Now, uh, I've put the light to cover on here so it's not terribly bright, okay? I don't want to be blinding you, and, you know, causing you much... Uh, or any distress at all, okay? So it's, uh, it's going to be bright, but it's not going to be overbearing for you, I'm sure, all right? All right, you've been very brave so far, okay? So just continue to be brave. We're going to be fine, okay? All right, so I'm going to place this on your nose, all right? I'm going to shine a bright light into your left eye, or a fairly bright light. I'm 
I'm looking for the pupil uh, restriction. I'm looking for the same response in the other eye, despite uh, not having the light shine into it. Okay. So we call that the consensual response. That's fantastic. Okay, you're doing really well. You can look anywhere, it's fine. Okay, that's wonderful. Good. And there we go. I'm going to give you a moment's rest, okay? And then if it's okay with you, I uh, would like to check into the other eyes, okay? Okay, wonderful. And is it okay again if I place my uh, hand on your nose? Yeah. How are we doing? A little bit more relaxed. We're getting through it, aren't we? We're doing well. All right. So, here we go then once again. Checking the uh, sensual response. I'll place my gloved hand on your nose. There we go. Light coming in. It's wonderful. Checking the other eye for the consensual response. So we have the direct. There we go. And then the consensual. And there we go. It's absolutely fine. Once again, checking your right eye. And now I'm looking into your left. Good. And finally, direct. And consensual. There we go. Absolutely fine, both eyes are um, responding how they should be okay, so everything is fine. I'm going to pop the light back on so we can see each other a little bit better. Alright, here we go. Okay, that's good, everything is fantastic. We're going to be doing a, a swinging, beg your pardon, a swinging. Uh, light test, okay? So, uh, we're going to use the same light again and uh, we're going to be checking the uh, relative afferent pupillary defect, okay? Yeah, a bit of a mouth format. So, so again, um, you can look any way you wish, okay? And I'm going to just be swinging the light from one eye to the other. Nice and close, here we go. So, looking wherever you want to. Swing, swing. Light from eye to eye, from your left to your right, back to the left and to the right, and the left and the right, swinging back and forth, making you sleepy and quite possibly hypnotizing you, but we don't want to do that. Alright. So a few more, back and forth. Good. Doing really, really well, okay? There's no reason to be nervous. Everything is fantastic. Okay. Sorry about that, I'm going to get carried away in there. It's, uh, One day I will hypnotise one of my patients. Um, yeah, it's just the law of averages. All right, that's fine. Okay. All right, I'm going to check your accommodation uh, reflex. Okay, so once again, it is a thing to do with the eyes. Okay, so it's very intensive on the eyes to begin, and then once we get a certain amount all the way through, which we're pretty much approaching, uh, then we can give your eyes a much needed rest. Okay. But doing really well, okay. So just keep going and we'll be uh, through this intense eye uh, section very soon, okay. All right, so I'm trying to make sure I've my notes correctly now. Yes, okay, that's fine. All right, so we're going to be checking uh, your ability to, um, to um, focus, okay. So I'll be asking you to focus first of all, so keeping your head still and in line with mine. Okay, so just moving your eyes, you can just focus on my pen for now. Okay, that's wonderful, both eyes looking at the pen. Okay, in a moment I'm going to be asking you to switch your focus to the back wall. Okay, so anywhere behind me is fine, as long as you're looking at a point behind me on the back wall. That's what we're interested in, okay? 
because I keep looking at the pan, you're doing really well. It's fine. Okay, now if you could look at the back wall for me, please. It's great, ignoring the pan, just keep looking at points behind me. Now if I do get in the way of the point, just pick another point, okay? The main, uh, the most important thing is that you are picking a point at a distance, okay? Good, now if you look back at the light for me. Both eyes looking at the light. Good, you're doing really well, okay? Keep looking at that light for me, ignoring me. You know, I'm getting really close here, just ignore me, looking at that light. Okay, well done. That's fine, again, if you could pick a point behind me on the back wall there, anywhere will do. Keep looking at that point. Okay, you're doing really well, alright, you really are doing very well indeed. Now, ignoring the light, so keep looking at your point at the back wall. Okay, and now if you could look back at the light for me, that's wonderful. Keep looking at the light, we'll be done in just a moment, okay? Keep looking at the light as I walk around you, ignoring me, looking at the light. Okay, we'll leave it there, really well done. Give your eyes a well-deserved rest, okay? Well-deserved. Okay. Good, so your ability to focus uh, in, in uh, short and uh, sort of uh, slightly longer, uh, I wouldn't say long distance, but uh, it's only about five and a half feet away, so it's not exactly long distance, but uh, sort of medium range um, as well as the short range seems fine, okay? All right, that's wonderful. Okay, I'm going to check your visual fields now, okay? So I'm going to be moving my fingers into your vision. Okay, at the angle, we're going to do four corners, okay, so the four diagonal corners, all right. I'm going to close over my, uh, we're going to start with, yeah, start with my uh, left. So if you can close your right for me, okay. So close in your right, tell me when you see my fingers, okay. The trick is you have to look at my wonderfully straight nose, okay. All right, so look at my nose, okay, tell me when you see my fingers, here we go. Good, we'll repeat the same again, look at my nose. Good, and now from the other, uh, the bottom angle, here we go, look at my nose, tell me when you see my fingers. Okay, and again, tell me when you see my fingers. Okay, well done, we'll do the same on the other side. Now I'm going to close over my right, if you could close your left for me. Look at my nose, tell me when you see the fingers, here we go. Okay, wonderful. Okay, look at my nose. Tell me you see the fingers. That's wonderful. And from the bottom, okay, so look at my nose again, please. Keeping the left eye closed. Here we go. And one more time. Okay, well done. That's good. Yeah, yeah it does sometimes make my eyes water when I do that, uh, but... Uh, so it's not just you that's uh, having any difficulty with that, it's me as well. Okay, so that was a visual film test, okay? So you performed very well there. All right, I'm very pleased, in fact, with how you've done so far with every element that we have tested, okay? So you're doing well. Uh, there's no reason to be uh, anxious or, you know, you, you need to uh, you need to know how well you're doing, all right? So I'm just trying to relax you. Uh, you're doing absolutely fantastically well, okay? All right, well done. So, the fun part, it's not really, but it is called a fun doscopy. But it kind of, it's not that much fun. But anyway, we'll, uh, we'll get on with it. So I'm going to be taking like a very, some might call it a scary looking device. Okay, so it's called a foam scope, and it's used to check the surface and the backs of the eyes. Uh, but it is not intrusive in any way shape or form, okay, so you won't feel anything whatsoever. Alright, so I'm going to pop that on there. Okay, I think we'll do the uh, front surface of the eye to begin with. Okay, there we are. So I'm going to be showing a bright light into your left eye for about two seconds, okay. We do the same on the other side naturally. Alright, so I'm just checking the surface of the eye. So, in, uh, shine the bright light into your left eye. Three, two, one. Now, and we're done. I'm going to be shining the bright light into your right eye. Three, two, one. Now, 
And there we go, fantastic. All right, we're going to turn this off for a moment. Going to make a note. And then we're going to do a further check. Okay. That was that wasn't too bad, I hope. All right. Okay, so that was that. The only surface on the eyes uh, appears healthy and fine. Okay. Right, I'm checking for the what we call the red eye uh, reflex. Okay. Again, same check as before, just a different setting. Okay, so I'm going to shine a bright light into your left eye. Three, two, one, now. There we go, we're done. And into your right eye. And three, two, one, now. And we're done. Okay, great. Alright, so I'm going to make a couple more notes and we're going to move on to the third and final check. Okay, I'm going to be using some eye drops if that's okay. I promise you there's no pain involved, they're very mild drops, you might uh, feel a slight sensation of the wetness on the drops but there's no pain or anything like that, it's okay. Yeah, it's very quick, It's. Uh, I promise you it's going to be fine, alright? Alright, feeling brave enough to do it? Yeah? You up for it? Alright, fantastic. I do appreciate that because I know it's not always the nicest thing to have eye drops placed yeah, but I promise you it's going to be fine, all right? So you're being really brave. I do appreciate that, okay? Okay, so the idea is we're going to position the optic disc and the vessels, okay? The eye drops are just to dilate the pupils, okay? So we can do the uh, checks, all right? So if you could just raise your chin back ever so slightly for me. There we go, be nice and gentle. There we go, that wasn't too bad, I hope. That was okay, yeah, just blink a few times, that's absolutely fine. The drops will do their business, okay? So keeping the chin held back ever so slightly. And there we go, okay, so that wasn't too bad. Alright, I'm going to change my setting once more. And uh, we're just going to have a look, quick look as before, there we go. Okay, so again I'm going to be showing a bright light into your left eye, three, two, one, now. And we're done, and into your right eye, three, two, one, now. And there we go, so that's all the eye light shining business done, you'd be pleased to know. Alright, so I've done really well there. Okay, just a couple of notes just to say how well you've done, all right? So, uh, the optic disc and the vessels are in perfect health, okay? That's good. Okay, um, have you experienced any double vision at all lately? However mild, any at all? Okay, okay so I think we're going to do a follow the finger test now, okay? So I want you to keep your head in line with mine as it is right now. That's perfect. Okay, I want you to just move in your eyes, so keep your head still for me. Okay, I want you to track the very tips of my fingers. Here we go. So keeping the head still. There we go. Keep looking at the fingers. It's good. It's going to vary the speed a bit. We go up, down, left, and right. Okay, it's good. Okay, we're doing the other side, okay? So again, keeping your head as still as you possibly can, just moving your eyes, tracking the tips of my left hand this time, okay? Here we go. That's good. Okay. Good. And there we go, well done. So just a quick little test there, and you performed really well, okay? I know it's challenging, and uh, it's designed to be challenging, but you did really, really well. Okay, now I need to ask if you experienced any double vision at all during that exam. Okay. Okay, how are you feeling? 
physically. Right. So we're going to be using uh, some soft and some sharp objects now, okay? So this is a soft object, which we'll be brushing this across the face. I want you to tell me if you can feel it, all right? Here we go. Okay, you feel that okay? And it felt soft? Okay, great. So what I'm going to be doing in just a moment is I'm going to be placing the soft uh, Q-tip. Just I'm going to be just wiping across your face at different points. And I want you to tell me when you can feel it brushing across your face. All right. Nice and simple. Here we go then. So tell me when. So just say now. Okay. Here we go. Okay, that's good. Good. Okay, fantastic. Well done. We call it the fine touch sensation test, by the way. All right. And uh, did it feel the same? The soft Q, -Q, -Q tip. Sorry. Did it uh, feel the same on both sides? So it felt soft and equal on both sides. Okay, good. That's what we like to hear. Okay, so we're we'll doing exactly the same as we did with the Q tip except with a sharper object, okay, we call this the pinprick sensation test, okay. Now, although we say the word sharp, these uh, scissors, as you can see, are very uh, blunt, okay, so it won't hurt in the least, okay. Now, to begin, I need to just brush the scissors across the face, and I want you to tell me if you can feel it, all right. So that was nice and gentle, wasn't it? Could you feel that okay? Okay, so as before, I'm going to be brushing the scissors across different points on your face. I'm going to tell you when you can feel it, okay? So you just say now again is fine, okay? So here we go. Tell me when you can feel it. So did it uh, feel more or less the same uh, on both sides? Okay, well we did really well again there, okay? Didn't seem to have any problems there whatsoever. So that's fantastic, okay? So I'm going to just write down how well uh, you've performed there. We're going to move on to the next test in just a second, okay? Alright, so I'm going to be checking your facial muscles next up, alright? So could you bite down your jaw just gently for me? So your teeth meet. There we go. It's fine. Okay, relax. Okay, just keep holding the temple region. Now, could you open your jaw for me? Not so wide that it's painful or anything like that. Just, just open it so it's comfortable. Okay, that's good. And can you close your jaw for me? Again, not so tight, but just close it so it's comfortable. Okay, that's wonderful. So let's just remain relaxed for a moment. Okay, could you open your jaw for me? Okay. And can you close your jaw for me? Good. Alright, any pain when I press under the jaw there? That feels okay. Seems like we're going to get to a bit busier, so uh, we'll have you, uh, you know, we'll have this exam performed just in time, I think, by the sounds of things. Um, okay, if you could open your jaw for me. And close. Okay, that's fine. You did really well there. Okay, so no further tests uh, needed. Um, regards to your jaw. Okay. What oh, I tell a lie. I do want to check your uh, jaw, jaw jerk reflex. Is that okay? Yeah. All right. So it's a very simple test. It does involve this really scary looking hammer. So 
So I'll be placing my finger on your jaw if I have your permission. Okay, and I'm going to be hitting my finger with the uh, reflex hammer about two times, that's all. Is that okay? Alright, here we go. So on the jaw, so keep your jaw relaxed, okay? Nice and relaxed. Good, and relaxed again. Good, there we go. And yep, so the jaw is uh, broken as it should be. That's uh, good. Good, good, good. Alright, I'll be asking you to perform uh, some facial expressions, okay? So could you raise your eyebrows for me and keep them there as best you can? That's fine. Could you puff out your cheeks for me and keep them puffed out? Can you keep them puffed out? Don't let me push them in. Keep them puffed out, don't let me push them in. And there we go, and relax, that's fine. Okay, if you could uh, purse your lips as if you was applying lipstick. Keep it there. All right, well done. Give me a big teethy grin. Okay, well done. Have you noticed any changes in taste recently? All right, and uh, have you noticed any uh, have your hearing sounds any different recently? All right. So one last check I want to do then is just to. Um, if you could close your eyes for me, I'm going to be trying to open them with my fingers. I want you to keep them shut as best you can. All right. All right, I won't poke you in the eye or anything like that. It's lovely and gentle, I promise you that, okay? So, here we go, you're going to be brave. You can do this, I know you can. All right, so you can close your eyes for me and don't let me open them, don't let me open them, don't let me open them. And there we go, and relax, open your eyes. Really, really, really well done. All right, we're going to do some whispering tests in a moment, okay? I'm just going to make a few notes here. Alright, so I'm going to whisper in a two digit number into your ears. I'm going to be covering over one ear with my glove, is that okay? Yep, alright, fantastic. So here we go. And I'm going to be whispering it into the other ear and then I want you to tell me what I whispered, okay? Here we go. 33. 34. 35. 77. Okay, and two into the other ear. Issues uh, with that. We're going to take out the tuning fork now. Um, where have I left it? I've left it uh, in the other room. One second, okay. Okay, so let me perform a couple of simple tests in a minute, okay? So we place in this tuning fork behind your ear. Okay, I want you to tell me when the sound starts and then when it stops. Okay, so here we go. Let's start with the left side. Okay, so tell me when it starts, say now. When it stops, say stop. Okay, here we go. Okay, really well done. Do the same on the other side. Tell me when it starts and then tell me when it stops. Okay. Place this on the forehead now. Yep, I really am. And I'm going to be giving the tune for a hit. And I'm going to be asking you, does it sound the same through both ears? Okay, so does it sound more or less equal on both sides? Okay, there we go on the forehead. Okay, does it sound more or less the same on both sides? Okay, we'll do that again. And then it sounds the same roughly on both sides. Okay. Alright, we're nearly there. Okay, so you've done really well. I know you're a bit apprehensive at first, but you've performed excellently for now. Okay, so you should be proud of yourself. You've done really well, okay? 
Nearly there, just a couple more bits. Okay. Right, if you could open your mouth for me nice and wide, but not so wide that it's causing you any distress. Okay. All right, I'll quick look into the mouth and say, ah, and again, ah. Okay, symmetry observed, that's fine. If you can lift your tongue up to the roof of your mouth, keeping your mouth open nice and wide. Okay, so keep your tongue up. That's wonderful, and relax your tongue for me. And now if you could put your tongue into your left cheek, and then into your right. All right, and relax, that's good, okay. Fantastic. Okay, so move your tongue. If you put your tongue into your cheek for me. Okay, I want you to press it against your cheek. I want you to press your tongue that's in your mouth against your cheek and against my hand, if that makes sense. All right, so we start with the left side. So put your tongue into your left cheek. Press as hard as you can into your left cheek. Okay, that's good. And into the right this time. Press as hard as you can into your right cheek. And there we go. Okay, that's fantastic. One last test. We're going to test your shoulders, uh, your muscle strength. Okay, so I want you to keep your shoulders relaxed for a minute. There we go. And shrug your shoulders for me and keep them there. That's wonderful. And keep them there. And I'm going to be trying to press down. I want you to keep them up by your ears. Okay, so resist me pressing down. Resist, resist, resist. And there we go. We are done. All right, so I've got the notes here. And uh, yep, we're all done here. So everything's fine. Okay. You've done really, really well, and uh, we'll have to pop back in in 12 months or so. We can perform the same again. All right, so you've done excellently well. There's no need to be nervous, and uh, yeah, look forward to seeing you next time. All right, so hopefully, you can be a little bit more relaxed next time. Now you know what it's all about. All right, well, it was lovely to meet you, and I wish you all the best. I will see you again, no doubt, quite soon. All right, take care then.